clan of yours. It has a name. Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. That's it. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly, just like that. Mentor, does anyone want to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. I... Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing, as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kjotve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd.
shit. Shot this warriors. Find the others. What do you see, Sunan? Sooner, guide me. Bad feeling, just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our report while we can. We can. With each day we wait, Kurt will grow stronger.
We do not have the men to storm Kyotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kyotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Kyotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Man your oars. Can't raise the sail yet. This wind Let's would the kill the sail! The sail. Yeah. Warriors! Bring it! When I was away, far from these frozen shores, Wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtval from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow, it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. But they will be deaf to his cries. And soon, the Raven Clan will feast on his death. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable.
Ships are coming! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Any man who wishes to see the end of Kjotve is a friend of mine. We thank you, King Harald. Your trust in me will be repaid. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help. But I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Chatve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Flor, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Give us a hand. Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end.
Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kurtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kurtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today, my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors, and cut short the court of Chutve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. ...but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham... ...I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones... ...but Chatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Chatve dies this day. On that... ...we are agreed. is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your rennets to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call the home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged Wolf Kiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. Taste the You fear. destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. You dance better than you fight. Not your day to die. Why do you refuse to die? We are not alone, Chatve. The old father watches. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves.
Trick, wolf kissed. You will be your father's desire. Clan, your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers.
Take your last breath. has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Fleece. His father dies twice today.
Abel, we have the day. Let the coward go. Eivor, the breath of battle rises from my brow. The scouts will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. Listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Guthormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Alding at Aldrichstadir. Tell him we will come. Battle first and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time.
this area is off limits. What is all this? Who bangs the drums of war? Look at you! A battle-hardened Vikinger! <laughs> Just what we need. Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner. Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack. But we must first practice our raiding. <laughs> Going on a raid? Then we shall raid. Three wolves, and I will be the fourth to your lead. Wolf pack! Onwards! Wolf pack! They ran. Four warriors, like four limbs of one clawing body. Each limb built to kill. Destroy. to the body 
of an enemy. And battle. The world smashes parts and bodies alike. Loot! Beauty is loot! Hack silver is stuffed into the big wolf's purse. Together, the wolf pack stands in the wreckage of the enemy village. Nothing remains but falls to be taken and flaming cars. The big wolf? Uh, <laughs> a successful raid. Yes. With your help, we slaughtered the Raven Clan for good. The Raven Clan, you say? Yes. Just like Chotve Yal's stories. One day I'll be just like him. Shotve's young raiders. See you wolves on another battlefield one day.
My love for you, Rise. Does everyone in Alrechstadir play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age. No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. You could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. Now, after a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So, you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding! That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only a... Uh, well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes! Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream, as you do, like it is really happening! Maybe you could start by... breaking things. And scream, as you do! It is... Uh, amusing. Yeah, it does not feel real. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! Let's see you, old friend. Gates and enter Valhalla. Take all plunder you want, Viking, and take us also and let the love hunger consume you. Um, another time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. Show me. is a foul stench. But we are strong, Ernie. Yes, strong with stink. Ah, 
a thirsty foe. Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Let's see your silver. What's a drinking game without a prize? Purse a bit light. <laughs> no matter. Man your horn! Step closer, seal face, and say that again! I said you'll stench you. That's your only strength. You stench! Show! 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 Your tongue back out! Just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you've lost your will to live. Gorim is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. 